Welcome to Electra Online. Here we have another interesting problem from the JEE advanced test because it uses multiple concepts in the very same problem. It deals with statics and it deals with Young's modules all in the same problem. So let's read it together and see what it says. A block of weight 100 newtons is suspended by copper and steel wire. So 100 newtons suspended by two wires, one made of copper, one made of steel. They have the same cross-sectional area, at least the cross-sectional areas are the same. And the length of the copper wire is the square root of 3 meters. The length of the steel wire is 1 meter. And let's see here, they're attached to the ceiling and the angles made between the wires and the ceiling are 30 degrees for copper and 60 degrees for the steel. If the elongations of the wires are defined by delta LC and delta L sub S, then what is the ratio of the change in the length of the copper wire to the change in the length of the steel wire? And they give us the Young's moduli right here. All right, the first thing we should do is relate the tensions of the wires to one another. And we can do that by realizing that the tension of the steel in the x direction must equal the tension of the copper in the x direction. And so we can then say that the tension of the steel times the cosine of 60 degrees must equal the tension of the copper times the cosine of 30 degrees. The cosine of 60 is 1 half, so the tension of the steel times 1 half equals the tension of the copper times the square root of 3 over 2. Over 2 can cancel out, so the tension of the steel is equal to the square root of 3 times the tension of the copper. So now we have a relationship between the tensions of the two wires. We also need a relationship between the lengths of the three wires. So we can say that the length of the copper is equal to the square root of three times the length of the steel. And now we also need a ratio of the Young's moduli. So we can see here that the Young's moduli of the steel is equal to two times the Young's modulus of the copper. All right, now we have all the relationships we need because now we're going to define the Young's modulus. We can say that the force per unit area divided by the change in the length over the original length is equal to the Young's modulus. And since the cross-section areas are the same for both, we can simply, instead of F, we can use tension. We can say that the tension divided by the change in the length, we can bring the initial length up here. Initial length is equal, not equal now because we took the area away, is proportional to Young's modulus. So now we want to solve this for delta L. So the tension times the original length divided by Young's modulus is equal to the delta L. So this is the relationship we're going to need to divide one by the other. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say that the delta L of the copper divided by the delta L of the steel is equal to the tension of the copper times the length of the copper divided by Young's modulus of the copper divided by the tension of the steel, length of the steel divided by Young's modulus of the steel. All right. So what we can do here is simply take one of them and change it to the units of the other or to the relationship to the other. So the tension of the copper is 1 over the square root times the tension of the steel. So we have this is equal to 1 over the square root of 3 times the tension of the steel. The length of the copper is the square root of 3 times the length of the steel. So notice that these cancel out divided by the Young's modulus of the copper which is 1 half Young's modulus of the steel. We divide that by the tension of the steel, length of the steel, divided by Young's modulus of the steel. So this cancels out here, this cancels that, this cancels this, this cancels this, and all we have left is 1 divided by 1 half, which is equal to 2 over 1, or equal to 2, and that's the ratio between the change in the length of the copper to the change in the length of the steel. So it's all a matter of ratios. Once you can compare one to the other, the rest is fairly straightforward. Although, you'll probably be hard-pressed to do this in just a mere three minutes. You did it in three, four, four thirty. Four and a half minutes, with all kinds of explanations, so you'd really have to hurry. <laughs> you really have to hurry to get this one done in three minutes. 